Um, I think what has happened, and I don't know, um, because I've I've only known about this for, I was shocked when I found out that there's billions of dollars of magic mushroom chocolate bars flying around the U.S. right now. Um, uh, It's it's literally billions of dollars? It's billions of dollars. Yeah. um, uh, uh, Which is actually kind of comforting in the sense that you don't hear a lot about a lot of problems. Right. Um, Yeah, I've never heard of one. Right. Uh, there, there is I'm one, sure people have had bad trips. There's been one problematic ma- problematic mush- magic mushroom chocolate bar uh, uh, instance, and that's a company called Diamond Shrooms, which I think they're gone because I think the FDA went after them. And the problem there wasn't the magic mushrooms in the chocolate bars. The problem was that they were putting all sorts of other stuff in the, in the chocolate bars, um, hmm. and that stuff was dangerous. What was it? Do you know? Uh, I don't remember. It was, like, it was sort of like shaking mom's medicine cabinet. Um, wow. Like stuff like gabapentin was one of the things really? that jumped out at me. Like, what, why? Yeah, why would you? Yeah. They were trying to put something in there Something to in there that makes you feel like and, you got your money's yeah, worth. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, in, in, in exchange for that uh, greed, right, they killed a bunch of people. Um, oh, wow. Which, I mean, that's the problem. Um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I mean, that's my agenda with that whole area in that, um, you know, at the very least, you need to tell the consumer um, what drugs they're getting and how much, right? Like, so, the con- you know, don't lie. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, back to the magic mushrooms. Uh, 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 I think what happened was, um, and I, I can confirm this with a friend that I have um, who knows about the magic mushroom industry, um, of which we have nothing to do. Um, and... Uh, uh, as I understand it, ma- uh, magic mushroom chocolate bars were originally made with magic mushrooms in the chocolate. Right. Um, and uh, the industry could not even almost keep up with the supply. Hmm. Um, and so uh, what do you do then? Um, you know, you're a greedy capitalist and you want to keep selling your magic mushroom chocolate bars, um, but you can't grow enough mushrooms. Like, no freaking way, from yeah. what I understand. Yeah. Uh, what do you do next? I, I, I gave the answer earlier. It's that you would turn to another pro drug of psilocin to put into your magic mushroom chocolate bars you would buy uh, uh you know a molecule very much like ours um from china or i don't think they make it in the u.s i think it comes in from china and hmm. you would put that in your magic mushroom chocolate bars and you would call it psilocybin or magic mushroom chocolate yeah. bars but you would really give this other pro drug huh so you could just buy in bulk psilocin psilos- pro drugs like from china and then mix them together in your chocolate bars Several years ago, this was true. Um, I th- and and uh, you know we bought a lot of those for. I mean, we actually used them for science. Um, you know, like in in labs, um, we bought them as like uh, actual research molecules. But there used to be a whole research chemicals market. Um, and the quote research chemicals were really recreational drugs that you could buy on the internet. So you could buy, you know, psilocin pro drugs. 